Hi everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell, and welcome to Moscow, and welcome to a vlog type video. Now today, I'm going to take you to the football, and I'm going to show you just a little bit of behind the scenes of Russian football. Let's go. Yesterday I got an invite to come to Dinamo's stadium to come and watch the match, do some videos or blogs, and here I am. And this is so cool that you can literally walk out right here and have a look where I am at Dinamo's stadium here in the center of Moscow. This is just incredible. Check it out, right here. Now, I don't actually have a seat, but I'm gonna show you that in a second. And then, this is the main pitch. Now, what's quite unique about this stadium, there's a couple of things that most people don't know about this place. Now, the seating is basically in a U shape. The away fans sit just over here. And then this whole back area is actually the back edge of an ice hockey stadium, which they also have here as well. And right now the players are warming up and I'm not too sure how many people are gonna be here. We're a little bit early, or I am at least. So it's a matter of taking it all in and just being in awe of literally being on the pitch, well, almost on the pitch, of a Russian Football League match. I may look a little bit differently dressed. I've actually got to wear a bib to denote that I'm part of the media and YouTube, and you guys are gonna come along and see this. Now, the one thing that's gonna be difficult to cover is I can't really show the match. Well, not all of it, of course, but a couple of seconds I can. So the players are doing pass around and the ball came right to my feet <laughs> and I pass it back to them. What I'll try to do is just show you a little bit behind the scenes and what it's like <laughs> to be this close <laughs> to the match. And of course right now they're warming up all the different players. Now this side is Dinamo and the other side is also Dinamo. And I think maybe the coaching staff right here. <laughs> this is like, from? I'm from Australia. Australia, right? Yeah. We are from Slater's, it's over this. Ah, right on, okay. Yeah, Moscow, yeah. Wow, this is just crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. And the staff right here and there. Now, I'm sorry if this isn't really my normal type of video. Hello! But I can come down here and live a little bit of a dream in some kind and get as close to the match as possible. So I'm on the Dinamo side and the other team is actually also called Dinamo, but they're from Dagestan. And I'm going to find out the name of the <laughs> team shortly. So yeah, check this out. The only thing when you come to football in uh, Russia is the speakers and the music is very loud. So I can't do too much with getting them to lower down their microphone. So hopefully my voice is coming across okay. I think for most people who are sports fans, they know very well that the main supporters are always behind the goals. <laughs> At the moment, the sprinklers have just come on before the game starts. I think they want to get the pitch in optimum condition. And this is where all of the home fans sit. And these are the main true supporters of Dinamo. And they're, real, they're probably the most passionate of all of the supporters. You can see they're actually doing a presentation with perhaps somebody very famous for the club. And 
This is as close as you can actually get. There's basically just a net which stops the balls going into the stadium or into the seating. And then this is literally behind the goals. And the guys are setting up the photographs for when the goals are scored. I'm sure most people might have seen these behind goal photographs and videos. If you're wondering literally how close I am, now I don't want to get in the way of anybody here taking their main photos. However, this is where the players will come out from the race onto the pitch. And then these front row seats are very nice. Now when I've come here before, I've sat way up in what I call the gods, which is right up the very top. And then this time, we can get just that little bit closer. And I want to be as polite as possible to everybody that's here and not get in their way. I wonder if this is the seat where the spare referees sit. I think possibly right here and all of the media and press are waiting for the players to make their way out onto the ground. The ground announcer is just going through and announcing all the different players names and who is going to be on the pitch for the start of the match and you can see right there the actual match ball and then where the players come out and wow well, now this is actually a midweek match, so there isn't really expected to be a big crowd here. And this is actually a Russian Cup match, which is slightly different to the Premier League matches. However, the amount of interest is still very high, I think, for events like this. Before the match starts, they actually play the club's theme song and anthem. And you can see actually the words coming up on the pitch. The cameraman was just adjusting the ball to be in the right direction. Then they walk out to get it. And all of the supporters singing the team song basically, which is really very cool. Now I know I'm saying it a lot, but it really is to me. And out come the players for both sides through the race. I didn't realize I was going to be that close to the smoke. <laughs> However, the players come on out. And then, like, it's quite normal, all the kids right here. I really need to pinch myself the fact that I'm standing this close to the players. And then what the media sees and what the press sees is exactly what I'm seeing. And the players there just doing their last handshakes. They didn't take the ball, what's going on? They didn't get the ball. Maybe they're gonna come back for it. As I make wicket away from the press gathering, this is all of the away Dinamo players. Now, it's very confusing because it's a Dinamo Derby and this is all of their away players <laughs> and literally I'm almost the last person on the pitch <laughs> before they kick off of the game. I'm going to head back <laughs> to my seat now and get to the place where I found to be able to sit and watch the match. <laughs> and literally everybody is running off just like me and I'll find my spot. If you're wondering how close I am to the match, this is about as close as it gets. And I was hoping for a goal, but not so lucky. However, I am literally sitting behind the goals right here. One more chance, no. What's gonna happen? Wow, the ball bouncing around. So we're just 34 minutes into the first half, and so far, not really any shots on goal. It's kind of a little bit of a close match. So hopefully some goals by the end at least. Of course, I missed the only goal they kicked the goal. The away Dynamo team kicked 
uh, for a free kick. Now, part of making videos as the press here, you can't actually film the match. And, of course, the chance of me catching a goal is pretty slim. So it's half time now. I'm going to go and have a drink and then come back for the second half. The only thing with where I was sitting, it's essentially the opposite side of where all of the press can hang out and relax between the changing of ends or half time. So you've got to walk through all these back corridors. They do have arrows letting you know how to get there though, which is nice. And then basically, I think it's about a 15 minute break. Part of being able to go behind the scenes, they actually have the press room right here and they're actually setting it up now for full time and the coaches would come literally right here. They've actually got some of the match already on the screens and then even people want certain chairs and don't want to be at the back when the press conference starts and then the cameras right here ready to televise the press conference at the end of the match. I think sometimes I need to pinch myself uh, with the opportunities that YouTube has given me and allowed me to come to events like this or go to festivals or expos and of course I am a f sports fan I don't have any particular team here in the Russian Football League so to get to come to any of the matches is super interesting and I'm so grateful that I can get these small opportunities so it seems for some reason there's a penalty kick now there wasn't really any infraction I think maybe there was some back chat towards the referee and it looks like there's a penalty kick here for That tells you it all and how excited they all are. Everybody really going nuts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So they're calling out the player's name who scored and all the photographers were rushing over there to get the penalty photograph. So Interesting. What's the chance of catching another goal? Well, not so lucky. But the play goes on. And it's now one all in the 55th minute. The full-time whistle has just gone and Dynamo Moscow won the match 2-1. And they are now interviewing one of the away players for the Dynamo team. It's a little bit hard to fully explain, but basically there was a home Dynamo team, and then the second team was from Dagestan. And it's a little bit hard to grasp because they're both wearing the same jerseys, obviously different colors, and it's a little bit hard to figure out who was who. And the TV stations here are trying to interview some of the different players and also some of the other media like me are trying to get some extra footage and ask for an interview now of course I'm not going to do that but it's still pretty cool how close you can get to the players when you have this kind of access and very very interesting and so quickly the fans start leaving lots of them have actually come down to the sidelines hoping to get close to one of their players and maybe they'll come and you know say hello or anything like that so I'm gonna try and go into the press conference of course I won't be able to ask any questions but at least I can show you behind the scenes a little bit 
and how cool I'm practically on the pitch right here and it's just so amazing really and truly as a sports fan you know it's just a slightly different experience of course but it's just something very unique as well after the match finishes I think all the players go into the change rooms and then afterwards they come outside to this walkway here and a lot of the social media and different press come here and get a chance to meet the players or at least ask questions so very interesting and I think a lot of the different people here are maybe from smaller media or social media outlets not necessarily the big television stations and things like that and they're all looking for some unique content so the actual manager of Dinamo Moscow has come out and all of these guys right here and some girls are actually asking him questions and it's so nice it's not really all of the big media and press and TV it's really the smaller bloggers and youtubers like myself who get a chance to get as close as possible to the team and the manager like this and they want to ask very tricky questions to him and all of the different people want to make sure that they find out what happened with the match this is really a different side to the manager of the team because he's very candid with these young guys asking questions and perhaps they have online blogs or things like that and it's really not the maybe seriousness that you would expect from the coach I'm trying to be as quiet as possible not to distract him but such a different thing to experience where he's doing this behind the scenes away from the public and these young guys asking perhaps testing questions or there's definitely a smile on the coach's face so I thought I'd end this video on the train heading home it's now right about 11 p.m. the actual match started at 7 30 p.m. local time in Moscow and I'm just heading home I'm about halfway home on the train it's about an hour from where the stadium was for me to get home and I really hope you enjoyed this video uh, more of a vlog style video than a title specific video which I do on the channel more commonly I really enjoyed myself going to the match it's really strange that for more than a year I didn't go to any games and then I've been to two in about two weeks <laughs> so it's really interesting I'm really hoping to go to some of the other stadiums in Moscow and see games from other teams now that I've got a bit of a feel for getting the press passes and tickets so yeah I hope it was interesting uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it maybe you're a sports fan or not I think it's interesting to see a little bit behind the scenes I did actually sit in on the managers press conference at the end now I keep calling him the coach but in football it's a manager so it was interesting just to listen to his comments about the match and someone actually asked about the Olympics as well and his thoughts on the Olympics which was interesting and to see what he said about it yeah if you want to follow me on telegram there's a link right here I did post lots of photos today of, t of the event and then if you want to see an old video I'll put a link to another video on the channel something perhaps you haven't seen before Okay, everybody, I'm heading on home. I'll see you in another video. Bye.